Operation Overdrive. Operation Overdrive. Like five fingers reaching for the sky in five ways. Five heroes walking through the sun for five days. Dark forces lurking, leaving evil where they roam. Five rangers looking for the same five stones. There's treasure to be found. There's some lives to be saved. A planet to look after. There's a whole lot of space. Good versus evil. We got heroes on the scene. Power Rangers Overdrive is the number one team. <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh man oh man um <laughs> I can't even stop like that oh man <laughs> bo -bo. <laughs> oh my god I'm actually fucking crying right now <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I can't stop man fuck it no, this is too funny <laughs> 40 a minute in, oh. <laughs> okay, I've calmed down now. Okay, Jesus Christ. Where do I even begin? Oh my God, this season was so bad. I'm not going to make this a long video because there really isn't that much to talk about. But first of all, let me start off with a positive. Okay, first of all, at least this season was a little bit more interesting than Mystic Force. A little bit more because not every episode from start to finish felt like a drag to watch. But eventually it did feel like a drag to watch. I mean... I mean, at least I didn't have to put this shit on fast forward. I'll say that. All at the same time, I'm wishing I had done, but you know, you can't change the past. Uh, <laughs> you know, when I watched the beginning of the series, now first, let me get back to Mystic Force. This season being more interesting, Mystic Force ain't really that much of a fucking achievement because anything, I'm, as of now, I've still got several more seasons to go. Anything as of now can be better than Mystic Force. I mean, Turbo was better than Mystic Force. But as I was first watching the season, I was like, I was a little bit interested, you know. I was actually a little bit intrigued. I was actually paying attention a little bit. And I sat there thinking, why does everyone dislike the season so much? Why does everyone hate it so much? Like, is it as bad as people say? Because at first it seemed a little bit interesting, you know, in the beginning. But I was like, you know what, let me continue watching so I can understand why. And then it got to the middle. And then it end. And it is fucking boring. It's not that interesting past the, the, the beginning part. It's not that fucking interesting. 
This shit was so boring. It has a good concept with the jewels and everything. Apparently, it was going more for Indiana Jones theme. I don't fucking know. I don't watch Indiana Jones or anything like that. You know, the only time I'll probably be into Indiana Jones is if I probably play a Lego game or something like that. I'm pretty sure there is a Lego game of Indiana Jones. Yes, there is. Um, but <laughs> maybe one of the days I watch a film. I don't fucking know. But I've never really been, you know, too interested in Indiana Jones. I'm indifferent to it. But the, the jewels and everything like that, okay, it seemed like a good concept. But I don't even know what the fuck went wrong. Like, it just uh, it just wasn't that interesting to watch. It wasn't that interesting to watch. I mean, none of their rangers are really that fucking interesting. They're not. You know, Mac, I mean, doesn't really have much of a character other than he's courageous, like Nick. But he's a fucking ranger. What else is he going to be? They had the plot, the plot twist towards the ending... Where it's actually revealed that he's an android. I mean... <sighs> okay. Like, <laughs> I, I don't care. Like, I, I, I don't care. And then you have Dax who... I get the impression that they try so hard to make him likeable. But it, it comes off as fucking corny. Like they try so hard to make him a bit goofy and everything. But it just comes off corny. Like... He just comes off, he just looks stupid, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? Rose is not that interesting whatsoever. Ronnie, again, not that interesting. Will, you know, he's a bit of a dick, you know. <laughs> like, <sighs> none of these guys were that interesting. They were not that fucking interesting. And then you had ties on the fucking Six Ranger, the Mercury Ranger, who initially was a fucking monster, a compassionate monster. And he's fucking boring as fuck. No fucking personality. None. In that episode with him and Rose, he just came across as fucking creepy. Just s staring at her while she read. And I know they're trying to give her the impression that, oh, he's an alien. He doesn't know how human, you know, humans work and everything. But it just came across as weird. Like... <laughs> It's not that fucking interesting, to be honest with you. Oh, like... The villains did fuck all! The villains did fuck all! There's, like, three different villains in this fucking season. Three villains that all opposed each other. And they did nothing! Nothing! At least Korag in Mystic Force was fucking powerful. You know what I mean? Before they tried to do that bullshit with him saying oh um he's actually your father not that fucking dumb ass shit but these villains did nothing the only time i remember them doing something it was when mirror tracks whatever the fuck her name is to you know stole the jewel from will or will lost it i guess you know but other than that, i don't remember anything i do not remember any fucking thing What else is there really to talk about? I mean, Andrew Hartford, I mean... I, I, boring! That's how I put it. Boring. Boring. B-O-R-I-N-G. With an exclamation mark. I, I can't remember. Like I've, I've taken notes down, but they're not even that fucking interesting to read because there's nothing that fucking happens. Nothing that fucking happens, man. You know? Spencer might be the only okayish character in the fucking series. You know? Oh, well, another thing about Tyson. That fucking cringe episode where he tries to be like, be like Will and then puts on the fucking, you know, the wig with the, you know, the fucking cameras and shit. That was fucking weird as hell. Like, what the fuck kind of season was this shit? I mean, oh, oh my god. And then the ending, again, I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> I couldn't give two shits about this ending. You know? But at least with this ending, they tried to give the emotion. Oh, Mac's dead, Mac's dead. You know, Mac is dying. But again, it's predictable because I know he's going to fucking come back. It's Power Rangers for fuck's sake. They're not going to let anyone die without making him come back. They're not it with Kendrick's and Lost Galaxy in a much better fashion. And that was last minute. They did it with fucking Alex in Time Force. You know, who's, you know... Wes's fucking 
you know, great grandson, you know. They did it with him. And they're probably going to do it with other Rangers in the fucking series. Like, you know, and they've done it with Wes's father as well on Time Falls. Like, pfft, people die in Power Rangers and then they come back. Like, pfft, pfft, it's predictable. The fuck? <laughs> what was another thing as well? Um, oh, what was another thing? Oh, my goodness. There was, there was another thing I fucking missed out. I'm so, oh, I'm so fucking pissed off. This season was so fucking trash. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, what was it? I fucking missed that one. I'm trying to remember. I can't even fucking think straight. Uh, I'm so fucking pent up. Oh, uh, I'm going to have to come back to it later. I'm going to have to come back to it later. It'll come back to me soon enough. But. Like. Oh, another thing. It's come back to me now. Tyson and his fucking girlfriend, Vela. You know. The actress that plays Vela is the same woman that played Ali Samuels in SBD, Jack's, you know, new love interest. Um, same, same, same woman. And you know this, oh, I lost my girlfriend and that's why I'm fucking depressed and everything. I'm blah, blah, blah. And I lost her. It is fucking predictable. You know why? Because they've done the exact same fucking thing in so many different Power Rangers series, or a couple different Power Rangers series, I should say. They've done it with Corone in, in space, you know. Andros' sister gets kidnapped when I was both kids, and if he thinks Corone's lost, he doesn't know where to find her, and it is revealed that astronomer, you know, Corone was astronomer all along, you know. That was executed far better, you know. Or um, in SPD, when Commander, you know, he lost his wife during a battle, and he's wondering if she's still alive and whatnot, you know. And then it finds out she was alive. Same thing in Mystic Force when Udonna, you know, wanted to find out what happened with her husband and what happened to Bowen and whatnot. And then it revealed that Korag was her husband and Bowen was Nick. I mean, it is fucking predictable. It is predictable. Oh, uh, what happened to this person that I lost many years ago? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then later on, you get to find out in the series that they're still alive. And then, they, you know, you see them later on, like, it's fucking predictable. They've done this a couple times already. Think of something new. When, when, when he said, oh, I lost my girlfriend, I was like, oh, she's going to be back. She, she, she's going to appear later on in the series. We're going to see her. Like, it's fucking predictable. I don't have a problem with them doing it. But the thing is, is how many fucking times are you going to do this exact same fucking thing? Especially when you've done it for three fucking seasons in a row. Come on. If you're going to do the same, if you're going to reuse, reuse the same trope over and over again, don't do it three seasons in a row. Come on. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> fucking hell, man. <laughs> Oh, and the crossover, Once a Ranger. It was a decent crossover. You know, they brought back Adam. Um, Adam was cool, you know, in Operation Overdrive. He was all right, you know. But what, again, why in the fuck is Adam in his Mighty Morphin Black Ranger suit when he lost it at the end of Mighty Morphin? It makes no fucking sense. Do they not care about continuity? I mean, like, come on. And I know they probably did it so they can match, you know, Adam's colour with Will's colour, you know, Will the Black Ranger. Yeah, this is the second time in a Power Ranger series where they use a black guy as a, you know, the Black Ranger. To be honest, I don't give a fuck about any of that, you know, because people back in the day used to fucking make a video, oh, Zach from my Morphin is black and he's in the Black Ranger. Like, shut the fuck up, people. It's not even fucking deep. It's not that deep, you know? But they probably did that so they can make, you know, you know, make the colours match. But it just makes no fucking sense. And who says they needed to use Adam anyways? <sighs> you know, not to have a problem with Adam being in there, but come on. This is going to be a perfect opportunity for them to acknowledge his zero powers and whatnot. But no, they always just act, act like that zero powers never existed, even though they never lost them. Again, it makes no sense. How is he morphing into powers that he lost years ago? I don't get it. 
It makes no fucking sense. And then they brought that Zan, brought, bleh, they brought back Xander from Mystic Force. You know, the, you know the Green Range from Mystic Force. I can give two shits. Um, they brought back Tori from Ninja Storm. Pfft, I care. <laughs> I mean, she was hot as hell in this crossover, man. She is cute as hell, man. She looks hot in this crossover. You know, probably did, probably then she did on, I guess, some sometimes in Ninja Storm, to be honest with you. And she was cute as fuck in Ninja Storm. But in this crossover, she, I don't know, just, I don't know. Something, there's something different about her. But, and then there's, they brought back Kira from Dino Thunder. You know, you know, the yellow Dino, Dino Thunder Ranger. I mean, she's pretty cool as well, and she looked kind of cute too. You know, who else did they bring? There was another ranger. Ah, Bridge. Bridge from SPD. They have Bridge as the Red Ranger. But Bridge was never Red Ranger. Now, originally, they tried to bring back Jack from SPD. Um, they tried, you know, they contacted Brandon J. McLaren, um, the guy who acts as Jack from SPD. But he rejected it. And the reason why he rejected it, at least the, the, the rumour why he rejected it, is because... Well, him and Emma Lahana, who plays Kira from Dino Thunder, used to be in a relationship. Yeah, they used to be in a relationship. And then for one reason or another, um, they broke up and he was going to come back. But I think somehow he got wind that Emma Lahana was coming back as well. And for, you know, due to whatever reason they broke up, you know, you know, he just never came back, you know, because he found out she's going to come back. So instead, they brought Matt Austin, who acts as Bridge from SPD. But I'm sitting there thinking, did they reach out to Chris, um, Chris Violet? You know, the guy who acts as Sky, you know, from SPD? Because Sky becomes Red Ranger at the end of SPD after Jack resigns. You know, so how come they didn't get him back? Did they ever reach out to him? I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't have reached out to him. It would have made a lot more sense if he had been there instead of the bridge. You know, maybe he turned it down as well for one reason or another. Or maybe he couldn't go there for one reason or another. I do not know. But having Bridge as the Red Ranger? What? You know, and I, I don't have a problem with Bridge. I like Bridge, but their poor explanation was, um, their poor explanation was, oh, well, I become a Red Ranger after Sky becomes Red Ranger, after Sky becomes a Red Ranger, after Jack, you know, that shit he, you know, that kind of shit he normally talks, you know, because he talks like that. I'm sitting there thinking, that's the, that, that's the best explanation they can come up with for why Bridge is Red Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man and i know they also did it to match it with um mac who's the red ranger as well so there's that <sighs> you know but there's that but it was a decent crossover but it's not the way people hype it up to be I've seen people hype about this crossover as one great crossover. It was just any average crossover. You know, I think it wasn't any different from any other crossover. The Time Force Wild Force crossover was better than this. You know, Power Rangers and Space Lost Galaxy crossover was better than this. Forever Red was better than this, even though that was rushed. You know? Like, <laughs> this, this just was a normal crossover. It's not the worst crossover, obviously not, but... I don't see why people put on the level that they do. You know what I mean? You know, hell, the Dino Thunder Ninja Storm crossover was probably slightly better than this, to be honest with you. You know, I don't know why people put on such a big pedestal, like, from what I've seen. Like, the crossover was just a normal fucking crossover. Maybe because people were happy that Adam came back. Oh, and they brought Alpha back too. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's because Adam came back. That's why people are so happy about it, but... I don't even remember Adam really doing too much either. Like, I can't really remember. I can't remember, man. You know? And then they said they sent all these rangers to help the other rangers, you know, Operation Overdrive rangers because they lost their powers. You know, the powers got taken away from them. And they said, oh, these rangers are here to help you and blah, 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 blah. I'm thinking, and I'm sitting there thinking, well, I like Adam. You know, I like Tori. Cute as hell. I like Kira, another QE. And I like Bridge. Xander, I don't fucking care about him. Fuck Xander, you know. But I'm sitting there thinking, can they got more powerful rangers? Like, <laughs> and I know they're trying to get, because what they tried to do here is that they tried to get one ranger of every team, 
in the Disney era, with the exception of Johnny and Bosch, you know, because he's from Saban era, you know, Zordon era, if, if you want to bring it back that far, you know. So I guess what I was trying to do, but I was thinking, with a mission like this where Rangers lose their powers, why would you get, you know, Rangers that not even, like, the sh one of the... Sh I don't know. I don't know. Like, pfft. I don't know. I was just thinking, maybe those are the best Rangers you could get, you know. Like, okay, you know. But like I said, I don't have a problem with the Rangers. I like most of the Rangers with, with the exception of Xander, but I don't know. It just, it, it was okay. It was, it, was, it, was, it was decent. It was decent, okay. But it's, it's not as great as a crossover as people make it out to be. Like, I didn't get the hype. It just seemed like a normal crossover to me, you know. So I just, I just leave it at that, you know. But <sighs> let me talk about some other things. Like the costumes, the suits. I don't normally talk about this kind of shit, but fuck, it might as well, you know. But the suits... Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Earlier in the season, the suits, looking at the suits was, was making me sick. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, there's just something about it. I don't know what it is, but I don't know what it was. But the suits just made me sick just looking at it. You know, the theme song is ass. It's not that fucking good. You know, most of it is noise, like Mystic Force, where it has a catchy part where it's like Operation Over. Yeah. That's the only up catchy part of it, you know. It has a nice beat to it, but the lyrics, I can not give a fuck about the lyrics. Again, it's just noise to my fucking ears, you know. So, yeah, whatever. It's like... <sighs> I don't like the season. I just did not like the season. It was slightly better than Mr. Force, but that's not really fucking saying much. Like, Turbo is literally the best of the fucking worst right now. You know. Oh, and if you want me to bring up some irrelevant shit, because I don't know why it's got really nothing, really got, bleh, it's really got nothing to do with my rant. But I thought I'd bring it up because I don't know why I just felt like bringing it up. But the actor of Will, the Black Ranger from Operation Overdrive, there's some controversy surrounding him. You know, Samuel Benter, and the reason why there's controversy surrounding him is because at the very first Power Morphicon back in 2007, which the same year Operation Overdrive aired. <clears throat> There's some controversy surrounding him because he was filmed um, walking out, at least walking to an elevator. Fucking hell. Sorry, my bad, people. My bad. Walking to an elevator with um with a banner. And that banner at that Power Morphicon event was actually, you know, supposed to be autographed by, you know, a bunch of, you know, Power Rangers actors and probably, you know, normal people too. And what... Well, I think it's just Power Rangers actually. And what they're gonna do with that banner was um, auction off the chari uh, auction auction off, make some money from it, so they can get the money that they got from the banner to send it to charity for sick children. And the video, you know, you know, the the, the banner went missing. You know, the banner went the banner went missing. And you know, the last person seen with it was Samuel Benter. You know, just walking around with a banner, and you see him, you know, going to a lift, and that's it. You know, he's the last person to see when the banner and no one knows where that banner went. And, you know, someone, I think a year later or months later, said, Samuel Bennett gave us gave us the back the banner, you know, you did wrong and blah, 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 and this and that. You you sick person, this and that, you know. And because of that in incident, you know, he's banned. He was banned, like, for a long, banned from life from Power Morphicon. You know, he's not allowed in any Power Morphicon events at all, you know, because of that incident. But the only time they allowed him back in was actually not that long ago, back in 2022, Power Morphicon 2022, for the 15th anniversary Operation Overdrive. You got an invite, but he wasn't able to go for whatever reason. Either one, you know, one reason or another, or two, you know, he was just done with the shit he was getting from, because of the incident, you know, and he just didn't turn up, whatever. <clears throat> But, you know, and then he didn't say anything about it for 13 years. And then he made a video defending himself saying, I just went out, you know, with a banner. You know, I saw that there was no autographs on it. So I went around to help, you know, people, you know, help people get autographs for it. You know, and I took it to some room, a green room, as he says, you know, to go get some drinks because he left the banner because he thought in the green room, no fans would be allowed there. You know, he thought he was just there for the actors. So he just left the banner there and he went to go have drinks with Austin St. John and Paul Schreier, as he says. And 
Paul Schreier out to a bulk. <clears throat> That's what he says. And when he came back, the banner was gone, you know. And because he was the last person seen with it, people would say, oh, well, he stole the fucking thing and blah, 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 blah. And this and that and the other. And because he didn't say anything for years and years and years, because he was hoping that other people would stick up for him because he thought no one would believe his word, you know, people started to say, oh, he's guilty, he's guilty, he did this and he did that and blah, 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 and this and that and blah, 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 and all that extra shit, you know? But he made a video talking about the incident, defend himself, and then he privated the video. That video is no, long, is no longer on his channel. The only way you can see that video is from other people's channel where they're commentating, you know, about it. You know, and in that same video, he says, oh, well, why none of you come ask me about what happened, you know, about the banner situation and whatnot, blah, 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 blah. But anytime anyone asks him on social media about it, he always blocked them, you know? So, you know, but <clears throat> my take on it is, I don't know why people talk like they know he did it for sure. Like all you see, you know, people say, oh, but you clearly see him leaving the building with a banner and blah, 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 blah. All right, first of all, the, the video of him, you know, going to the elevator, that's just him going to an elevator. How do you know that's the elevator for him to leave the building? He could have just went to another room in the elevator. You know what I mean? Him, you know, him having film of him while Austin St. John was doing his um convention, you know, you know, him leaving <laughs> to go to the elevator doesn't prove anything. All it just proves is that he had a banner, which he never denies. He said he had the banner. He said he lost it, you know. He never said he never had the banner in his possession. So what does that video prove? That video proves just him leaving to go to elevate. He could have went to another room. That doesn't automatically mean that he left the building because there's no film of him actually leaving the building. You just see a film of him going to elevate, you know. And then, you know, pe people say, um, oh, another thing is that, like, if he did leave the building and whatnot, try and left the building with the banner in his hand, how comes no one tried to stop him? It, it, how comes no one tried to stop him from leaving with the banner? Knowing full well what the use, was, use of it was for. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, some people speculate, well, he took the banner so he can have it as a, a souvenir with, you know, all these people's autographs on it and blah, 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 blah. But by the looks of it, the banner is empty, you know? So, and whatever. So, you know, <clears throat> people said, oh, he stole this and blah, 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 and this and that and this and that and the other. I'm not saying that he didn't seal it. It's possible he did seal it. It is possible. But the, you only see him going to an elevator. That, you don't actually see him leave the building. And you're telling me no one's see, you know, seen this guy with a big ass banner, a recognizable person, Samuel Bento, you know, for Operation Overdrive, leaving the building with a banner. No one tried to stop him. It's like, you, 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 are you being serious? You know, <laughs> are you being serious? You know, so yeah. But even if he did steal the banner, and I'm not trying to fucking defend him or whatnot, yeah, that makes him a dickhead and whatnot. It does make him a bit of an idiot. But 15 years later, how many years later, people are literally tarnishing his name, saying he's a sociopath, he's a narcissist, and blah, 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 this and that and the other, blah, 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 blah. He takes no accountability, even though he took accountability for losing the banner, but he said he never stole it, you know? And, you know, people say, oh, is this and that, blah, 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 blah. If he did steal the banner, Okay, he's a bit of an idiot and whatnot. Okay, cool. But 13 years later, it's not worth fucking tarnishing his character and literally assassinating every every little bit of his character left over him taking an empty banner that had no autographs on it. And to let people know, that was not only banner there. I think there was like three other banners. I think or three or four other banners there. So worst case scenario, you know, they could have went, okay, just get a new banner, everyone resign, you know, do your autographs all over again, blah, 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 and then cool, we do it all over again, you know. Yes, that would have been a little bit annoying for some people, but, you know, it's not something worth shitting on someone over a decade later, like, come on, you know. So, if he did take it, he's, a, he's an idiot, he's a bit of an idiot, but it's not worth, you know, <laughs> assassinating his character over. But people jump to conclusions and acting like he stole the fucking thing, when all you see is him walking to an elevator, that doesn't prove anything, there's no film of him leaving the building, with the banner, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, I think people kind of blew, blew the situation out of proportion, to be honest with you. You know, like people talking like he fucking killed someone, like the Power Rangers actors that have done worse, you know? And people don't treat him, treat, treat them that way. And I think the reason why is because he's in a season like this, Operation Overdrive, which is one of the worst fucking seasons out there. So I think people are, you know, 
more ready to fucking get in on the season, um, in on him because of that, because of how bad his season was. And because his character was not a fucking good character to begin with, you know? So there's that. But I don't know why. I think it's not really relevant to the rant, but I just felt like bringing it up because I just wanted to get it off my chest. Like, I don't know. Sometimes when I, when I know something, I just feel like saying it, you know? But it's somewhat related to the characters at hand anyways. But yeah, but anyways, to close it off, this season fucking sucked. I never want to watch it ever again. I'll never want to rewatch it. It's a very fucking bad season. You know, like, I only missed it. Force was fucking worse than this shit, to be honest with you. But that's not even really saying much. They're both shitty seasons, bro. Like, they, they, this, they, bro, this made, this made Turbo look like a fucking masterpiece in comparison. And Turbo had so many plot holes in its fucking story. It was unreal. But Turbo is far more entertaining to watch. At least the fucking characters were interesting. You know, these guys here, they're not that fucking interested. And neither were the fucking characters in Mystic Force. They weren't that fucking interesting either. You know? So, yeah, I'll leave it there. We'll move on to Jungle Fury next. And hopefully I do not have to make another rant video on, on Jungle Fury, you know, but Jungle Fury doesn't seem to get the kind of reputation that Operation Overdrive does. But then again, even does Mystic Force and look at that turn out. So hopefully Jungle Fury does turn out to be a better season, you know, hopefully, you know. So anyways, this rant is over. Power Rangers Jungle Fury is next.